Hi everyone, welcome back to My Colourful Country Life. Today we are colouring this double page from Mythic World by Kirby Rosens, which is pages 84 and 85. And I think this is the Warwall Dragon. Um, but first, let me explain this situation. So I have injured my thumb. I don't know what I've done or how I've done it. It's been hurting for a few weeks now and it's got to the point now where I'm actually struggling to grip things. Like I've lost all strength in my thumb. So I have it strapped under here and I've just chucked on my reading glove, um, writing glove just over the top to stop the pencil from rubbing off onto the bandage as I'm colouring. So hopefully it isn't too distracting for you guys. If it does get in my way, um, I might take it off. Or if it starts to feel better, I might take it off. So because I do film a little bit over a few nights, you may see me with it on or off, depending on what's happening at the time. So I will rest it again over the weekend. It's Thursday at night here at the moment. And I don't colour Friday through to Sunday, as that is uh, family time for us here. So I'm hoping it is just overworked. I think um, I released a video each day for the last couple of weeks. Um, and it's also end of financial year here. So I've been flat out at work finalizing some stuff for my clients as well. So um, my hands have been getting a bit of a workout. Um, don't worry though, if it does get worse, I will go see a doctor. I just feel like I've spent the last month or so at doctor's appointments and I'm done. <laughs> um, I do have arthritis in my family though, mostly rheumatoid arthritis, but other types as well. Um, and my markers were low a few weeks back when I was last tested. So I'm pretty sure it is just overuse, but time will tell. Um, anyway, enough rambling from me. Back to our werewolf dragon. I'll just double check that as well. Um, so let's have a look in the back and see what myth infam myth information. Sounds like I'm saying myth infam information. I can't even say it. Um, let's see what Kirby has to say about this myth. Myth. So I can't even say that today. Struggling with my words. Okay. War Wool Dragon from Krakow in Poland, pages 84 to 85. So according to Polish folklore, a dragon once lived in a cave at the foot of Wall Hill in Krakow. The dragon demanded food from the city with increasing fussiness until the king finally had enough. He offered his daughter's hand in marriage in return for the dragon's head. Countless men died in vain until a young apprentice named Scuba devised a cunning plan to use the dragon's gluttony against him. He filled a lamb's body with sulphur, placed it at the mouth of the dragon's lair and set it alight. The dragon gulped down the lamb and exploded. Today, large bones, believed to be the remnants of the dragon, hang from the gargoyles at the entrance to the city's cathedral, and a metal fire-breathing sculpture stands behind the river. Is it Whistler? That's an L, I think. Um, so I have decided to colour him in a deep blue, like a blackish blue. And as he is a fire-breathing dragon, I'm thinking I'm going to make the flames blue as well. I think red's going to be too much of a contrast for what I've got pictured in my mind. Um, if you remember back to Worlds Within Worlds, we had that red dragon um, and we did some blue smoke with a black background. Well, I'm thinking this time we're going to do a blue dragon blue smoke and maybe black background. Um, I'm thinking of giving the trees a sort of bluish touch as well. The building roof, I think I'll make it a terracotta or a really dark brown and maybe bring through slight touches of the green from the trees um, just to make it maybe a little bit mossy. And the buildings, I might make a neutral color or, um, or a dark. No, I think I'll keep it a neutral color. Maybe add a little bit of a bluish tinge to it maybe to bring through from the dragon you know when you're looking into a fire or you look at someone or you see a photograph of someone sitting next to a fire and they've got sort of that um, orange glow about it so maybe we'll give the buildings a bit of a blue glow and I think we're going to do a dark brown wall as well I think and that way we are introducing a whole heap of new colors as well but our blues are about to get a workout <laughs> so that's the plan so far i might change my mind once i see it coming together though as that happens sometimes it just happened now actually to me with the um the asker frower that we've just finished i was planning to use um pinks and yellows and make her or him really bright but in the end i, I colored the um where is it 20 something 
I'd coloured the tree trunk and the background and after that I just wanted to make it really dark and moody instead with um, her being a little bit brighter in the centre so she stands out a little bit more but um, originally I was going to have pinks and yellows through here. These I'd already picked out um, a colour, I'd already swatched a colour for these with pinks and golds. Um, yeah, we went green instead and I'm quite happy with it, the way it turned out. So, um, oh, and you may have noticed also I have a new cutting mat behind the book, um, which I'm really, really excited about. So my black one was actually quite small um, and it wasn't, I don't think it was even bigger than the book or maybe it was a little bit bigger than my book. Um, so it was quite small and it kept moving around um, for I had to keep moving it around for the book to sit comfortably underneath it so this one is more than twice the size and I don't need to move it anywhere and um, it's clear which is really funky um, so on that note sharpen your prism of color blues because it is time to get started and color our dragon
right guys that's where we're going to leave part one of this video um i will see you again very soon for part two thank you so much for watching bye for now